hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing like a quick little get ready with me kind of like an everyday look like you need to get out the door fast um so this is the look that i use for work really it's been about 90 percent of the time um these days so anyway this is going to be featuring something that i've mentioned in my favorites before it's the charlotte tilbury this is the instant look of love in a palette and this is in the little shade um pretty blushed beauty so there's two different options there's a lighter and a darker version this is the lighter and guys you can tell how much i love this palette i told you guys in a previous video i had only used it for like a week maybe two weeks and i told you guys it was a favorite hello it's a favorite like my palettes do not normally look like this i use every single shade in this palette and i just really wanted to go through with you guys you know what i do you know, day to day so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the smashbox photo finish primer this is the color correcting version. Um, there's multiple different versions of this. There's the shine control. The original is really good. Um, if you're oily though, the shine control really does um, help. It's kind of like a thicker, kind of feels like silicone type primer. But when I have, it really, really fills in your lines and just makes everything so smooth um I remember a few years ago when I tried this primer I really didn't like it but I don't know maybe it's just that my skin you know has aged I'm 31 years old now um so you know it could just be you know my skin is aging so this is working better for me now Ooh, my hair is looking crazy too I'll just have to ignore that. Okay, so we got our primer on. I do have like a lip plumper on. I've mentioned that before as well in my favorites. It's from New Skin and it's just a lip plumping balm. I put it on every single morning. I'm going to be filming like an updated favorites for you guys. I just haven't got around to it yet. Okay, so I have run out of the foundations that I previously was using so I've been trying this one this is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour if I didn't have so many like breakouts going on on my skin right now I think I would like this a lot better if my skin was clearer um but this provides like medium coverage at best like this is not full coverage in any sense and I'm used to like fuller coverage foundations obviously going from the NARS um, matte and then the NARS radiant longwear like both of those are pretty full coverage like the the longwear is definitely more medium but you can build it up to full um the NARS matte soft focus or whatever that one is just like full full coverage so um this is like it's really not my favorite, but I'm just using it to use it right now. All right, I think I'm gonna scoot you guys in a little bit closer so you can get a better view of what's going on. Okay, that should be a little bit better. I'm going to use, oh God, the name of this brush is worn off, but it is It Cosmetics and it is just like the flat top kabuki brush i have used this for years their brushes are expensive but they last they really really do they hold up so well um a lot of my favorite favorite brushes are from it cosmetics and you can see when i'm putting this on i'm just like patting it in really the only time i really use swiping motions is when i get down to my neck that's just to blend it down. Now, day to day, I haven't really been wearing eyeshadow primer just on quick mornings when I'm trying to get out the door for work. I just will put my foundation and or concealer on my eyelids, and that is what I've been using as a base. 
So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all a video in real time using this palette, how quick it is to get ready. And that is why I have been loving that palette so, so much, as you can tell. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna go in is my concealer. This is just one from Dose of Colors. I have mine in the shade 08, which is light. And I have just been putting this, I've been putting it all down the side of my face right here. Normally I don't wear this much concealer, but because that foundation is just a lighter coverage and I have a lot of pink in my cheeks right here, um, I really like to cancel that out. So I'll put some on the tip of my nose, some on my forehead, cause I do have some redness there as well. Put some on my chin and then I will just kind of go around and any like little blemishes, imperfections that I have, um, I'll try to cover those up. So, um, I do, I'm starting to get like melasma on my skin. Like, I don't know if you can see that darkness right there. I... I'm not ever like out in the sun these days. Now, a, like in my childhood, obviously, like younger years, I was out in the sun a lot, but I literally am like never in the sun. Um, I'm definitely an indoor girl. I The summer is not my favorite season at all. Um, I am definitely a fall baby, fall girl. So I don't know um, what's up with this melasma situation, but... Yeah, I know that that's what it is from, like, I've watched Emily Noel and she suffers with that. She got that, you know, when she was pregnant. Your girl is not pregnant, okay? <laughs> so, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what's up with that, but. Alright, so this concealer, I kind of just, obviously, as you can see, this is like a fluffy, fluffy brush. This is a precision foundation brush and it is it is like a just a fluffy blending brush so soft and I really just love it for quickly blending in concealer it blends it like a dream really spreads out the product evenly and it just makes my job so much easier Having good tools is definitely a thing. If you don't have good brushes, I mean, investing in some good brushes is, in my opinion, better than investing in good makeup. I mean, really, you know, stuff from the drugstore, you can make it work. It might take a little bit longer, but in my opinion, stuff at the drugstore these days is really, really good. Um, but yeah, having the right tools to apply things properly I think makes a huge difference in makeup application okay so we've got through kind of like I would say the boring part of things and now we can go into this palette so this is the flawless like what is it, what is it actually called um airbrush powder <laughs> So this is the shade medium. Obviously you can tell I am like just about out of this. I've hit major pan in the highlighter. I've hit pan in the blush and it's deep um, dents in there as well. The bronzer I have not hit pan on. None of the eyeshadows I've hit pan on, but there is like a huge dip in this one. And then there's quite a dip in this shimmer shade as well. So I'm going to try to get some powder out of this. I'm almost done with this powder. Basically is what I'm saying. And this would be a lot faster if I wasn't like having to dig and dig for this powder. So this is another IT Cosmetics brush. The softest powder brush. Oh, it's so good. Such a good brush. Let's see if this is the Love Beautifully brush is what it says. I think this is like an exclusive one to Ulta. And I would have picked this up in a 21 days of beauty sale. 
it cosmetic brushes always go on sale during that sale they're different ones for different you know years obviously seasons they don't do the same ones every time um but that is where i have stocked up on these brushes also many years ago i started purchasing makeup like watching qvc and hsn and i got a few um it cosmetics sets and those come with a brush okay so what i love about this airbrush powder it literally just smooths everything out i feel like it blurs everything out you can pack and pack and pack this stuff on and it just does not look cakey such a good powder it is very pricey though i think like just a compact of this powder is like 40 or 50 dollars at sephora um i went through that powder fast that is the first thing that i hit pan on obviously you can tell it is almost gone and yeah that's expensive for a powder you know what i mean like you can get the Laura Mercier loose setting powder. I think it's like 38 bucks and that will last forever. I'm talking like a year, two years, a long time. So this is a fantastic powder. I love that it came in this compact, but just like going out and purchasing that, I definitely would not do that unless it was like on sale or you know they had the vip rouge sale or something like that so now i am dipping into this bronzer and i don't know if you can tell the powder kick up that's on there there is a little bit of pick up uh, kick up so you know just be aware of that i will say that charlotte tilbury i think she gets her tones really really good like the tones of her eyeshadows and her blush and her bronzer all of that stuff it just works so well together and it looks so natural um i will say that this is like the most like airbrushed looking finish that i have gotten from makeup like ever i think um i was not oh my god you guys, I literally just hit pan on this. So, I this is the first like actual Charlotte Tilbury like face palette that I've purchased. Um, they're seventy five dollars, so that's why. And I was just like, I saw that it had everything. I had been wanting to try the setting powder. I had been wanting to try the bronzer. So I saw that both of those were in here, and so I was like, all right, let's my moment it's my time to grab it and I literally have used this thing almost every single day so I also recently purchased the new like nude gasm I think is what it's called it just recently came out right time it dropped like day of I was like thank you <laughs> um so I'm kind of hooked now um, which is not good because I can't be buying like $75 palettes every time they drop, you know what I mean? But luckily with Charlotte Tilbury, she doesn't release like a ton of stuff. You know, she's definitely not like ColourPop where it's like every month there's a new collection. Um, so I do, you know, like that about her brand. I think she takes a lot of development into her products and she really thinks things out. She produces like quality products and... I personally have not really tried anything from her that I'm not like blown away by. Um, the primer, I have tried like a sample of her primer and I will say that that wasn't like anything extreme, but everything else I have tried, I have freaking loved. So now we're gonna go into this um, highlighter. And she doesn't have shades for this. It literally just says face highlighter illuminator. I'm going to take my trusty um, Jeffree Star and Morphe highlighting brush and you see that? Look how freaking pigmented that is. 
ridiculous. Now looking head on, it doesn't look that blinding. Boom. Okay, so just the high points in my cheek and then I'm gonna like brush it up into that brow. And I use like circular motions to kind of buff this out. Okay, I'm gonna do the tip of our nose. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do the highlight under my brow. And then I'm going to do right here. And I'm putting very, very, very little product. Basically just kind of whatever is left over on my brush is what's going right here. Okay, and then I'll just kind of go over everything one more time just to make sure it's kind of blended out nicely. Okay, <clears throat> now the next thing, ooh, let's see, we'll see here. All right, the next thing that I am going to go in with is this shade here. It's actually a like shimmery shade, but I have been using that in the crease and I think it performs really well. So I'm going to take my little Luxie. This is a large eye blending brush and I'm just going to tap that into there. Oh my God, guys, I just hit pan in this one too. I'm telling y'all, like I freaking am a fan I don't think I have another palette period where I have got multiple pans like and that is legit I've almost got a pan in every single shade in this palette which is it just speaks to how much I love it so I usually like do two layers of this and you see that undertone like just the tone of this in general is like rosy but bronzy it just looks natural but I feel like it makes your eyes pop if that makes sense so there we go now this isn't something that I always do but I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade here and I'm going to take this on another Jeffree Star brush. This is the J56. It's just, it's a natural hair brush, which is why I like it. It is a goat hair brush. And goat hair, like natural bristle brushes, I think just blend superior. They really do. They're definitely not like, you know, they can't be said cruelty free or whatever, but man, I love a goat hair brush. And in fact, whenever brush collections come out, that's usually like the first thing that I look for is to see if they have any um, natural bristle brushes in the collection. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on the outside and what that's going to do is just add a little bit more depth and then with my finger, I'm going to go into this shade here and I'm sorry guys, this palette looks busted, but that's because I use it all the time. So, okay, I'm going to dip back in there. I usually do two layers of this shimmery shade and that is what it looks like on the finger. And then this is what it looks like applied to the lid and it just looks like wet. I freaking love it. I think it makes your, it really is like flattering on your eye. I feel like it makes people look at your eyes, not your eye shadow. Okay, so a little bit more.
okay? So there we go. Now, I don't like to have any like shimmer particles in my crease. So I'm gonna take this brush one more time, dip it in there, and I'm just gonna go over that crease one more time in case I got any of those like shimmer particles in the crease. I don't like that. Okay. We're pretty much, we're basically done with the eyes. Um, the only other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little smudger brush. It doesn't have a name. It's just from one of the Morphe collections. And I think I actually got this out of like a boxy charm or something. I'm gonna put this brown, this dark brown, all under my lower lash line. Just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. And I don't bring this in all the way. Let's see if I can get it where y'all can see. So I just bring it as close to the lash line as I can. And I bring this in to like when you're looking at me, like where this, where my people ends. That's like where I try to stop it. Okay, so I wiped this brush off on a clean towel and I'm going to go into our highlighter just to brighten up that inner corner. And I always try to bring this like up on the sides a little bit. You know how it can get dark right here? I just try to bring whatever I'm using for my inner corner up into that duct. And then I take my highlighter and I will put it down on the lower lash line, kind of connecting where we stopped with that darker shade. Okay. Next, we can do our blush. Now, I absolutely love this blush shade. Um, I'm going to use, this is like one of the best brushes that I've ever got. This is the LR309 brush. And this I got out of one of my Ipsy bags. These brushes are like hella expensive. That's why I love like Ipsy and BoxyCharm subscriptions. <sighs> you guys, what the heck? Now look at that pan. It is sad. That's why I had to make this video because I was like, I'm going to be like running out of this shit soon. I've got to get a video up on it so people can see like how good this palette is. I haven't really heard many people talk about it and for the life of me, I can't figure out why. Because for me, like early mornings, kids going back to school, you know, this has been like a lifesaver. And if you're like traveling, there's really not much else you have to carry. I mean, you carry this and then your base product and your mascara and you're good to go. So, like I said, I love this blush color. I really go ham on it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there you go. Next, I'm going to take, this is like a crucial step in my makeup application. This is just a huge, you know, clean brush. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. This is the JH01. I don't know if they still sell this, but if they do, all of the Jaclyn Hill brushes by Morphe are fantastic that I have tried. So, I just take a really big blending brush and bl blend the perimeters of my face. It just makes everything that much more seamless and it's a step that I always, always do. Unless I'm wearing like creams where I don't really like want to be like blending it like that. Um, every other time. I use that method and I think it makes the biggest difference. So 
quickly clean up the rest of my brushes that I did not use today. Put those in my bag. Okay, so I always, always curl my lashes. This is just an e.l.f. eyelash curler. I think it's like the e.l.f. professional. And I really like the shape of it. So I'll usually hold this for like, you know, five, ten seconds. And I'll be kind of like clamping it like this, like up and down. And I mean, you can tell from one eye to the other which one I curled my lashes on, right? I think it just opens your eye up. But um, I have had, you know, other eyelash curlers. And to be honest with you, this one fits my eye the best. Like other ones, sometimes like these outer lashes would like, it wouldn't grab it. So everything would curl except the outer longest part of my lashes. Um, but yeah, I really like that. And I think it was only like four or five dollars maybe. Um next this is definitely not a favorite this is just something that i've been using this is the complex culture this is a um full out brow gel and the reason that it is not my favorite is because of this brush like do you see how much product is on the tip of that brush and then as well like just the crazy bristles um i cannot use that I will do one brow on camera and then I'll do the other off um, just because I do think brows are pretty boring, but I'll show you kind of how I do it. So this is, again, this is a Jeffree Star Morphe brush, but you can use any spoolie, any like angled eyeshadow brush. This is actually called the J57 is what it's called. So I will usually just kind of brush my brows out this is my problem brow i seriously over plucked it whenever i was younger and it just it's never been the same all right so i will just brush some of this product onto my little angled brush and this is so much more precise it is really fast i feel like doing it like this um i do like the brow gel itself I really just don't like the component like the product itself is fine it's just annoying having to use you know a, a different tool to apply it like the benefit um brow setter that brow brush is fantastic the essence brow product I forget the actual name of it but their like brow gel very similar applicator fantastic product so this I like the actual gel I think it really does hold the brows in place it definitely lasts all day um my only gripe is the applicator itself like the brush that it comes with um, now that I have got some of that product off, you can see, like, what is up with these hairs that are just going all over the place? Like, and it had a ton of product on it. Like, how do you expect somebody to brush their brows out with that shit, you know? Anyway, this works. It does just take a little bit longer, but I really like the results, so... Now, once that dries down for like a few minutes, I will just like brush it out. I think it makes it look a little bit more natural. I'm going to dip my little brush back in. One dip usually gets me one brow. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my other brow and then we'll be back. All right, I'm back and the brows are filled. I am going to go ahead, I'm going to put on my mascara while the brow product kind of sets in place. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. Love this mascara. It is super black. I feel like it's waterproof. I don't know if it advertises that it's waterproof, but I have cried um, in this mascara and I haven't had any issues. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and I always start with my bottom lashes just because I feel like when you start with the top and then you go to the bottom and you're like looking up, it gets the mascara up here on the top of your lids. So I'm gonna apply, again, one eye on camera with you guys. And you can see the difference, like, love it. I think mascara and bronzer are probably like, if I could only pick two makeup products, that is what I would pick. I feel like bronzer just gives me life to my face and mascara just wakes me up. I feel like I look so sleepy until I put mascara on. Okay. Jesus. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. One of the best mascaras that I have ever used, hands down. So you can see one eye to the other, how much of a difference mascara makes. I'm gonna go ahead, do the other eye, and then we'll finish everything up. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips, and I have just been using like a gloss day today. So this is the Model Co. Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Illusion. I think it's just called the Illusion Lip Pencil, so I'm not sure if they have like multiple shades. I got this in an Ipsy box forever ago, and I just love it so much. I've gotten so much use out of this. Um, yeah. I do not overline my lips, even though I'm sure that's what it was intended for. Um, but I do like to wear lip liners just because it gives me like a guide for my lips. I feel like the out, outermost portion of my lips, I feel like the color is like depleting, going away. So this just helps me to see the outline for when I'm applying my lip products. So, I am using the Persona Lip Gloss, such a good lip gloss formula. This is in the shade Honey, and such a comfortable formula. It is moisturizing forever, I swear. And it is just a favorite. I love that gloss. I have found myself. It stays in my purse. It lives in my purse. I had to get it out of there for this video. Um, now my brows are probably pretty done. So basically what I'm going to do is just sweep the brows back. Just brush them back. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. This is the KVD. This is the Locket setting spray. I love it. It smells like cucumbers. <sighs> it smells so good. Such a fine mist on it as well. And that is it, guys. Hair looks so flat. I put in a new like hair conditioner last night and it just is not made for fine hair apparently. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. Um, it was kind of really like a favorites get ready with me, but mainly featuring this palette because I swear this has been like the only thing that I have been using. Um, clearly I love it look at all those pans you can look back on my channel and see when I purchased this palette it literally has probably been like two months none of my palettes I will say this again none of my palettes have got pan in them like this so yeah take that with what you will it is $75 however it is like a full face of makeup other than your base and your mascara and your lip product 
So super convenient. Um, it really does look like airbrushed. It looks natural. Like I feel like you're not going to be like, oh, your makeup looks good. You're just gonna be like, oh, you look healthy today. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, I hope that you guys liked it. I will link this product down below if you're interested, um, just for your convenience. If you have any ideas of videos, please let me know. And otherwise, I will catch you on my next one. Bye, guys.